guys welcome back to my channel it's Yu Yan. I feel like it's been almost two years since I've made a hair video so I think it's time for an updated one definitely styling my hair differently I got a different haircut and um, the color is pretty much the same I would say but I definitely want to answer some of like your frequently asked questions about what cut and color I get as well as show you guys the products that I use I'm gonna show you guys how to style a hair with so much layers as well as curtain bang and also with that being said I have been using the Dyson Airwrap I got it for Christmas and it is like the best tool ever so if you do have that um i definitely want to show you guys how i've been using it i don't think it's really like the right way or the traditional way to use it and maybe what works for me will also work for you guys so want to see how i achieve this like volume soft like blowout-ish kind of hair then let's just get right into it so starting off with my wet hair i just washed it i'm gonna use a little bit of the Amika The Closer Instant Repair Cream and I feel like this just kind of helps with um, the heat and making my hair feel a little bit softer and then the first thing I do is blow dry so I've been loving the Dyson Airwrap blow dryer it blow dries it really fast and I feel like my hair feels less damaged Usually I blow dry my hair until it's like 70% dry I would say it's still like a little bit wet but now I'm gonna use the flat brush I haven't had that much time to use it but so far really really good before I use the flat brush I'm just gonna brush my hair and I feel like the flat brush really helps with frizz and making the hair like extra smooth I'm gonna apply a little bit of my Olaplex Bond Smoother and this just makes my hair extra frizz free okay I'm gonna spray a little bit of my Whey Volume Spray for that extra volume. And now to section off my hair. I usually just do two sections. Um, my hair isn't super thick or super thin, but two sections usually work. You can do however many sections you feel like you need. Now for the curling part. I know there's like so many different attachments, but I actually only use one attachment and it's not this one, it is this one. And I follow the arrows and it's like the arrows going up. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I do. is how one side looks like because once I have everything down it looks a lot better but I just like blow drying everything up and kind of getting that like curl also I'm doing the cool shot so that lasts longer okay now this is both sides and now I'm gonna do the top section and I usually just like to clip this so I know that's a different like that's already done I usually like leaving my bangs for last. For the front pieces, I usually like um, blowing it out like pretty up, almost like on the top of my ears. And I kind of just roll the barrel up. Okay, now I'm gonna let everything go and I'm gonna do my bangs first. So with the bangs, I use this one, round brush one. Yeah. 
I also like taking the most front pieces and rolling it the opposite direction. And this is what it looks like for the bangs and I usually like to just set it with some clips just for a couple of minutes um, just so it holds the shape a little bit more. I have a lot of layers and I have shorter pieces on top that kind of didn't get curled so I like to just kind of go in and curl that all over again. This is pretty much what it looks like. I'm going to take off the clips. Um, sometimes I would leave it on for longer if I really want that like curtain bangs kind of look. And now I'm going to go in with Way Texturizing Hairspray. Um, I love this one. It's my favorite but there's so many great texturizing sprays. First thing I spray are my bangs just set that and then I spray it in my hair and that is pretty much it for the hair um, I do like to kind of go in with like a little bit of a pomade this one's from way it's the matte pomade um, I just kind of like it for a little bit more like friction almost and I just take the smallest amount and kind of just scrunch up the ends the front of my bangs and if I have any flyaways. Some oil. This is from Amika. It's the Glass Action Universal Elixir. Obviously, you do not have to put this many products in your hair. Most important is probably the texturizing spray and maybe like the oil. Okay, and this is the finished result with the Dyson Air Wrap. I am obsessed with it. I feel like it gives me so much more volume. Love how it turned out and it's just really, really easy to use. The only other products I didn't talk about is shampoo and conditioner. I use the Olaplex one. It's my favorite. I feel like it makes my hair feel really good, hydrated. Also, it's like color safe, um, no sulfates, and definitely like I want to preserve my color as long as I can. So yeah, I think that is all of the products that I use. Um, I do want to talk about the color and the color. So for the color, I do get um, blonde, neutral blonde foliage and with foliage, it's using the foils to lighten the hair. So all the little highlights that you see, that is with foils and that's a foliage versus a balayage is when they paint it. I love having a foliage because I feel like there's just a little bit more dimension and um, with balayage, the color doesn't lift as much, so my hair tends to get brassy really, really easily. I think the best thing to do is usually to just show a hairstylist or hair colorist um, the kind of color that you want or the hairstyle that you want, and they pretty much can tell like if you can achieve that with your hair because it definitely took me a while to achieve this color because my hair naturally is really, really dark. And what I love about this hair color is that I'm able to have my hair grow out without it looking like you know so much growth because it naturally just kind of blends in to my natural hair color and then for the cuts i did do something different this time i cut it a good amount shorter i love 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 this haircut i just did a lot of layers I asked for curtain bangs that i am still able to tuck behind my ears and then i did ask for it to be a little bit shorter than usual and it is like straight it's right below my nose it asks for a lot of layers so i have a lot of shorter layers and that's what creates more of that volume for me if you are in new york definitely check out hair throne i go to bianca all her hair colors and hairstylists are amazing um definitely check them out if you're in new york i'll leave their instagram page down below so i hope you guys found this helpful thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys